Hello there, and welcome to how making digestion becomes efficient. So in this particular task, uh, we're going to be looking at hydrochloric acid and also bile and how they make digestion more efficient in our bodies. So let's go through this together. So your digestion system produces many enzymes that speed up the breakdown of the food that you eat. As your body is kept at a fairly steady 37 degrees centigrade, your enzymes have an optimum temperature that allows them to work as fast as possible. Keeping the pH in your digestive system at optimum levels isn't that easy because different enzymes work best at different pH levels. So for example, the protease enzyme found in your stomach works best. Now remember that from our previous lesson, the protease enzyme breaks down the food that we eat in our stomach. So protease enzyme found in your stomach works best in acidic conditions, while the protease made in your pancreas need alkaline conditions to work at their best. So your body makes a variety of different chemicals that help to keep conditions ideal for your enzymes all the way through your digestive system. You have around 35 million glands in your lining of your stomach. These secrete pepsin, a chemical called pepsin, uh, a protease enzyme to digest the protein that you eat. Pepsin works best in an acidic pH. So your stomach also produces a relatively concentrated solution of hydrochloric acid from the same glands. In fact, your stomach produces around three liters of hydrochloric acid a day. This acid allows your stomach proteins enzymes to work very effectively. It also kills most of the bacteria that you take in with your food. Your stomach also produces a thick layer of mucus the, this coats your stomach walls and protects them from being digested by the acid and enzymes. So if someone develops a stomach ulcer, for example, the protecting mucus is lost and acid production may just increase. The lining of the stomach is then attacked by the acid and the protein digesting enzymes, which can be very painful. Uh, protein digesting enzyme digests enzymes, which can be very painful. All right. So you can see that how complicated and technical the whole system of the stomach and the digestion process actually is. After eating a meal a few hours later, depending on the size and the type of the meal, your food leaves your stomach. It moves on, to, uh, on into your small intestine. Some of the enzymes that catalyze the digestion in your small intestine are made in your pancreas. Some are also made in the small intestine itself. They all work better in an environment. The acidic uh, liquid coming from your stomach needs to become an alkali mixture in your small intestine. So this can happen. Your liver makes a green-yellow alkali liquid called bile. Bile is stored in your gallbladder until it is needed. As food comes into the small intestine from the stomach, bile is squirted onto it through the bile duct. The bile neutralizes the acid that was added to the food in the stomach. This provides the alkaline conditions necessary for the enzymes in the small intestine to work most effectively. So it's a very complicated process, but it's a process that works fantastically well for us human beings, whereby no matter what we eat, the digestion system kicks in and all these proteins and chemicals and pepsin that we have in our body, actually the hydrochloric acid and bile makes the digestion system much more simpler and much more efficient for us. So do have a read of this particular text again and try and dissect the information one by one and answer the questions as best as you possibly can. And we'll review these in our next lesson. Good luck.